Today we are going to discuss how to create a motion tracking effect in shortcut. This effect is simple to create and can take your video to the next level. So let's get started. Hello, I'm Sankata and welcome to my YouTube channel Vertical Darts. I will use this clip to demonstrate. First, add another video track to insert a text layer. Go to open other, click on text, select transparent under preset, choose simple and click open. Customize the text, change the font to Arial black and click OK. Uncheck the box for use font size and select middle for vertical fit. Drag and drop the text to video track 2 and adjust the clip's length. Hide the text layer for now. Then select the video clip and click on the plus sign to add the filter. Look for the motion tracker. Move the rectangle motion tracker onto the object you want to track. Adjust its size. The next step is to select the algorithm for tracking the motion. We have 5 different options to choose from. You will need to try them out to see which one works best for your video. For this video, I will choose the multiple instance learning algorithm. After selecting that, you can click on analyze. You will be able to track the progress in the jobs window. Once the analysis is complete, you will see a green check mark. You can hit the play to check if the tracking is accurate. The green rectangle should follow the object. If you are not satisfied with the result, then you can try again by choosing a different part of the object or selecting a different algorithm. Once you are satisfied with the motion tracking, you can give it a name. I will simply name it text. Now we will unhide our text. Change its size and place it where we want it. In the filters panel, click on load keyframes from the motion tracker. A window will open. Select the motion tracker. Remember we gave it a name text. Under adjust, choose the position where you want to place your text while tracking the motion of the object. For this video, I will select relative position. You can choose to apply the effect from the start or from the current position. Then hit apply. Once it's done, you will see the stopwatch icon highlighted and keyframes are added to the position and size effect. If you're enjoying the video, consider liking and subscribing to the channel for more content like this. Let's check the effect. I wish the text had stayed on the top of the car. However, we can easily fix it and make it more interesting. To do that, we will add size, position and rotate filters to the text. First, we will move the play hair to the point where the text starts moving. Then, we will click on the stopwatch icon to create a keyframe for the position. After that, we will move the playhead to the beginning of the video and shift the text to the left, taking it out of the frame. Next, we will go to the second keyframe and adjust the position of the text to make it more centered and position at the top of the car. Select the keyframe, right click, select the keyframe type and select smooth. Do the same for the second keyframe. Currently the text is cropping out, but not completely. To fix this, we will add a crop effect.
click on the transparent we will add the keyframe here and then crop the entire text out Finally, uncheck the show preview box in the filters panel and export the video. The effect will look like this. If you found this video helpful then please give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.